Are you still playing with high ping? You could be losing games just because of your connection, but don't worry, I have a solution. In this video, I'll show you the exact settings and tweaks to maximize your speed, reduce lag, and stabilize your network like a pro. Stick around till the end, and if you love smooth gameplay, smash that subscribe button. Now let's get started. Frustrated with lag and high ping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. So guys, in the first step, we're going to identify the apps and services that are consuming the most bandwidth. Let's dive in and see what's slowing down your connection. Right click on the Windows icon in the taskbar and select Task Manager from the menu. Once Task Manager opens, go to the Performance tab located on the left hand side. Scroll down and click on Open Resource Monitor at the bottom of the window to access more detailed network activity information. In Resource Monitor, navigate to the Network tab. This section provides a complete list of applications and processes currently using network bandwidth. Below that, in the TCP Connections section, you can monitor packet transmission and latency rates for different applications. Look for any programs that are consuming unnecessary bandwidth but are not essential for your current tasks. If you find applications that you rarely use but are still running in the background, consider closing them to free up bandwidth and improve overall network performance. In the Network Activity section, you can identify which applications are using the most bandwidth. To reduce network usage, right-click on any application that is consuming excessive bandwidth and select End Process. If the application has multiple associated processes, you can choose End Process Tree to close all related tasks at once. Additionally, some system services, such as svchost.exe, may also consume a considerable amount of bandwidth. While these services are essential for Windows operations, some instances may contribute to increased ping and latency. If you're experiencing network lag, you may want to research which services are safe to disable or limit their network access. So guys, in this step, we're going to adjust the limit reservable bandwidth to free up more network speed for gaming and other tasks. Let's get started. To make this adjustment, open the Windows search bar, type gpedit msc and press enter. Once inside the group policy editor, navigate to computer configuration, administrative templates, network, QoS, packet scheduler. Look for the setting labeled limit reservable bandwidth and double click on it. In the new window, select Enabled, then set the bandwidth limit percent, to 10% instead of the default 20%. Click Apply, then OK. By default, Windows reserves 20% of your total bandwidth for system services, leaving only 80% available for general use. However, you can modify this setting to allocate 90% of your bandwidth for personal use, while reserving only 10% for Windows services, which may help reduce network congestion and improve internet speed. After making these changes, restart your computer for the settings to take effect. This adjustment ensures that Windows reserves less bandwidth for system processes, allowing more bandwidth for your gaming, browsing, or downloads. To enhance your network performance even further, download the Network Optimization Pack from my official website. To support the channel and website, there are some ads on the site. Just skip them and make sure to download the actual RAR file. Alternatively, you can also download it directly from our Discord server. Once downloaded, open the Registry Optimization folder and install all the registry files one by one by double-clicking on each one. These registry changes are designed to optimize your network for gaming, reducing latency, and lowering your ping. After installing the registry files, run TCP Optimizer as Administrator by right-clicking the TCP Optimizer icon and selecting Run as Administrator. Once open, select your active network adapter, move the slider to 100 plus Mbps, or the appropriate speed based on your connection, and click Custom to apply custom optimizations. Fine-tune the settings by disabling auto-tuning and scaling heuristics, as these features can sometimes cause delays in gaming. Change the congestion control provider from Cubic to CTCP for better performance, especially at higher speeds. Disable RSS, receive side scaling, and RSC, receive segment coalescing, to reduce unnecessary CPU load, and set time to live to 64 for consistent network performance across routers. Turn off checksum offloading, chimney offload, and large send offload, LSO, as these settings can cause instability. 
In the advanced section of TCP Optimizer, set max connections per server to 10 to prevent connection overload, and set max SYN retransmissions to 2 to minimize connection timeouts. Disable the network throttling index and set system responsiveness to gaming mode for optimal low latency performance. Once all changes are made, click apply to save the settings, optimizing your connection for smoother, lower latency gaming. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your Ping C. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or a Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. So guys, while Sysmain mainly affects system performance, disabling it on low-end PCs can sometimes reduce unnecessary background activity, which might slightly help with network stability. Open the Windows search bar, type Services, and press Enter. Click on the Services app from the search results. In the Services window, scroll down and look for the service named Sysmain. This service, previously called Superfetch, is designed to improve system performance by preloading commonly used applications into memory. While it may help in some cases, it can also consume network and system resources unnecessarily, potentially affecting your network performance and causing latency. Double-click on Sysmain to open its properties. If the startup type is set to automatic, change it to disabled using the drop-down menu. Then click stop under the service status section to immediately stop the service from running. Afterward, click apply, then OK, and close the window. Disabling Sysmain can reduce the background tasks that use network and system resources, allowing your network bandwidth to be focused on essential tasks such as browsing or gaming, ultimately enhancing your overall network performance. So guys, in the next step, we're going to dive into your network adapter settings to ensure you're getting the best performance out of your connection. We'll tweak some options to improve speed and stability. First, type View Network Connections in the search bar and open the Network Connections window. Find your active connection, disable any unused connections, and right-click to select Properties. In the Properties window, choose either IPv4 or IPv6, depending on what you use. Open its properties and optimize your DNS settings. Select the second option, then open Command Prompt as an administrator. Run ping 8.8.8.8 .8 for Google DNS and ping 1.1.1.1 for Cloudflare DNS. Whichever server has the lowest ping, use it. If Cloudflare provides better results, enter 1.1.1.1 as your primary DNS and 8.8.8.8 as the secondary. If Google DNS performs better, set 8.8.8.8 .8 as the primary DNS and 1.1.1.1 as the secondary. This change can significantly improve response times and minimize lag during gaming or online activities. Next, let's tweak the settings for your network adapter. Right-click on your active connection, choose Configure, then go to the Power Management tab. Disable the option that allows Windows to turn off the device to save power. After that, navigate to the Advanced tab and adjust the following settings. Disable Adaptive Interframe Spacing, ARP Offload. Turn off Energy Efficient Ethernet, if available, and disable Flow Control. Set Gigabit Master Slave Mode to Auto Detect. Disable Interrupt Moderation and Adjust Moderation. Rate to Speed Up Packet Processing. Turn off IPv4 Checksum Offload, Jumbo Packet, and Large Send Offload for both IPv4 and IPv6. Set. Receive buffers to the highest value, such as 1024 or 2048. Enable packet priority and VLAN. 
set speed and duplex to auto negotiation or the highest full duplex available. Disable TCP checksum offload and UDP checksum offload. Once all changes are made, click apply and then OK. Your network adapter may briefly disconnect but will reconnect with the optimized settings, improving overall performance and reducing latency. Next, let's turn off notifications to reduce background activity and unnecessary network usage. Go to search bar, type notifications in the search bar and open notification and action settings. Unless you really need notifications, I strongly suggest disabling them by unchecking all boxes. This will help free up system resources and reduce network activity caused by background apps constantly checking for updates. However, if you rely on notifications for important alerts, you can choose to keep them on. Personally, I prefer turning them off because it prevents unnecessary internet load, ensuring more bandwidth is available for gaming. I don't like pop-ups interrupting my game, especially during intense matches. Disabling notifications can improve both system performance and network stability, leading to a smoother gaming experience. Now let's disable background apps to free up system resources and reduce unnecessary bandwidth usage. Go to search bar, type background apps and open the settings. By default, this setting is on, meaning many apps run unnecessarily in the background, consuming both network bandwidth and system performance. Unlike essential system services, which are crucial for Windows operations, background apps are mostly unnecessary. Ask yourself, do you really need the weather app or news updates running while gaming? Most of these apps only slow down your connection and use system resources that could be better utilized for low latency gaming. I strongly recommend turning them off to ensure your internet connection and system performance remain optimized for gaming. And that's it guys, with these pro level network tweaks you should see lower ping, faster speeds and a much smoother gaming experience. If this video helped, smash that like button and let me know in the comments how these optimizations worked for you.